Thanks for joining us. I'm Liam Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, police are increasing patrols at Lowell schools after three people tried to get into Moody and Shaughnessy Elementary schools on Tuesday. The district protocol is that no one can get into Lowell schools without proper ID and a legitimate reason. In a letter sent home to parents, the superintendent says school leaders were recently briefed to be extra vigilant about door safety. A man from Spencer is accused of attacking first responders and leading police on a chase in a stolen ambulance. The fire department says EMS were at the Haywood Hospital in Gardner last night when the man tried to get into the emergency room. They say he attacked staff and a civilian before hopping into the ambulance and taking off. Police say the man then hit a car and eventually drove back to the hospital where he was taken into custody. Police are searching for the people who stole more than 130 packages from an apartment complex in Roxbury. Police say the packages were taken from a storage room inside the building. Investigators say they're looking for three men who they say were caught on surveillance video. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Jason Michael and some sunshine out there, Jason. Oh, a lot of sunshine, Liam. Good morning to you and good morning, everybody. As we're looking at the forecast, that eastward view at the Boston Lighthouse in the Harbor Islands, a lot of sunshine, mainly clear skies out there right now. A few fair weather clouds are going to be moving through later on this afternoon. However, with the south wind, that is definitely going to be elevating our temperatures. The current feels like right now in the 20s and even the low 30s out in the Cape and the Islands and every single location is moving, moving positively to some warmer air moving back in. Nantucket about 10 degrees warmer from 24 hours ago. Our next system, boom, right there. It's going to be crawling out of the deep south, moving into our neck of the woods late Sunday into early Monday. Mid to upper 40s today all across the region, climbing to near 50 degrees right in the city and also near normal. We'll be back into the mid to upper 30s, even low 40s with that milder air over across the region overnight tonight. About 35 degrees here in the city with temperatures well into the 50s for you tomorrow. As we move forward, yes, we're going to have some hit and miss showers for the first weekend of December with the milder air out there right now. That sets the stage for a lot of clouds to be moving out in, and we'll see that cloud deck lowering coming in from the west, moving towards the east here once we get into Friday afternoon into the evening hours. Scattered showers are going to be likely once we get past the afternoon. The drive at 5, I think it's going to be mostly dry, but again, a few hit and miss showers are going to be possible thereafter though once we get into Saturday into Sunday we start to ripen towards a very dynamic system and that moves in late Sunday into early Monday a series of low pressure systems will crisscross and move right up the I-95 corridor spraying us with not just some rain but also some snow showers up towards New Hampshire as well as Vermont the next seven we stay in the mild territory in the daytime Saturday Sunday even over into Monday with those rain chances lingering by Tuesday and Wednesday we're drying out Upper 30s to low 40s in the day, 20s in the overnight, Liam. All right, Jason, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.